seen the statement uh, that's, do, do you see a witness statement? Yes, I see it. It says witness statement of Starling Jenkins, right? Correct. And this is the statement that you wrote and signed as part of the, uh, the UK trial on behalf of Mr. Depp, correct? Correct. Okay. If you can scroll, please, to page three of the document. And Mr. Jenkins, I'm going to read you what you wrote in paragraph 13. Um, okay. And we can go from there. Um, on paragraph okay. 13, you wrote in your witness statement in the UK trial, the Find My iPhone application indicated that Johnny's phone was somewhere on the streets below the balcony of the residence. Did I read that right? Uh, if that's what it says, that's what it says. I'm telling you the phone was in Skid Row. Okay, I have so... have a photo of the gentleman that found it. I have the location where the phone was found. Isn't Skid Row just a few blocks away from the, the Eastern Columbia building? All right. no, Before we uh, take a break, I do want to check in with my guest, criminal defense attorney Marie Pereira, still with me, and former federal prosecutors with me as well, Tammy Allison. Um, Tammy, let me start with you. Um, how do you think Starling Jenkins is moving the ball here for the for Team Depp? I actually think he's a better witness for a team depth than um, his bodyguard. I think that his testimony is more convincing. Mm -hmm. He's relaxed, he's relatable, and he's telling a story and connecting the dots, like we always say, to the jury. So I actually think that this is a favorable witness to Johnny Depp, and I don't think that he has testified on cross so far about any incentives to lie. Yeah, there you go. And Marie, just want to check in with you. I think they're doing well in terms of, he's just matter of fact, he's telling his story, he comes across to me as pretty credible. You know what, I thought he was until I discovered he left the part about the fact that Johnny threw the woman's phone out of the window the day before. I think as part of that conversation, if he was being honest, and if he was really being unbiased, he should have said that. That, that would have been a natural thing to say as part of his recounting of what happened. And it makes really, it makes him look like a, a biased witness, a sycophant, and he needs to stop calling him boss. It's not helping the situation. So in that sense, I agree with what Tammy said before. He is, you know, they are biased witnesses here. He's, he played himself by omitting that information. Jurors don't like lying by omission. They don't. Yeah, yeah. I know I don't. Yeah, I, I think that's a, that's an excellent point. Necess not necessarily uh, impeaching him with what he said, but p pointing out the fact that he didn't give you all the facts. Absolutely. All of the facts are always important in these types of situations. That is what the jury pays attention to. All of the facts and even those omissions, it's so important for them to testify truthfully, honestly, factually, and giving it all um, the, the necessary detail that's required. Yeah, sometimes when you prepare witnesses, you tell them how the answer should go, but you don't remind them to make sure they include all of the details. And they may want to help their old boss, but they're not necessarily being biased per se you know there's there's a difference between the two all right i want to thank marie Pereira for joining me today as always we didn't get enough time to talk but we'll have you out again real soon tammy allison you're going to be sticking around with us as well all right we have much more ahead coming up in our next hour from fairfax virginia we're going to take you back into the courtroom for continued um uh, testimony of uh what's his name here malcolm no stalling jenkins we're going to have more of his testimony when we come back and we're going to show you all the biggest moments from today in the courtroom so keep it right here on Court TV, your front row seat to justice. Love your deal at drive10.com. Welcome back to Court TV Live. I'm Michael Ayala. More bombshell testimony in the Depp defamation trial today. The ACLU 